Today's episode features one of the players who became famous worldwide due to the 1994 FIFA World Cup title. But his accomplishments go way beyond that, especially when it comes to the Brasileiro Açaí. Zinho, a legend among several clubs in the country, began his career at Flamengo and promised to be one of the greatest of his generation at a very young age. Oh my word, that was absolutely spectacular! The offensive midfielder spent no less than six and a half seasons wearing the red and black shirt between 1986 and 1992. In his first years in the senior squad, he was already an athlete with a lot of personality, becoming a starter in most of Flamengo's matches during his first few seasons. Due to his refined skills and impeccable tactical commitment, Zinho caught Palmeiras' attention and the club signed him for the beginning of their golden era in the 1990s. The midfielder said his goodbyes to Flamengo after winning the 1987 Copa União, the 1990 Copa do Brasil, as well as the 1992 Brasileiro. For the Greens, the number 11 arrived surrounded by expectations that were fulfilled very quickly, becoming the maestro of a team that was remembered for many generations. With 15 goals in 69 matches, he was one of the best players in the conquest of the 1993 and 1994 Brasileiro title campaigns. With the three consecutive Brasileiro trophies, his excellent performances earned him a spot in the roster of the Brazilian national team for the 1994 FIFA World Cup. And Zinho was a starter in every match. Zinho returned with the World Cup medal and went straight to Japan following the steps of Flamengo player Zico. After three seasons in Asia, he returned to Palmeiras only to lift the 1999 Libertadores silverware. Being forever in the history of both Flamengo and Palmeiras, he later signed with Grêmio, where he was immortalized in the club's walk of fame due to the 2001 Copa do Brasil title. In 2002, the midfielder returned for his third and shorter spell at Palmeiras before arriving at Cruzeiro. For the Foxes, Sinho would win yet another Brasileirão trophy, becoming one of the greatest players with the most national titles in history. His dream was to end his career at Flamengo, but failed to do so after a few problems with then head coach Cuca. Instead, he transferred to American side Miami FC after a brief spell at the small Rio de Janeiro side Nova Iguaçu. Four Brazilian trophies and his name forever written in the history of many clubs. That was the story of Zinho, one of the greatest Brasileirão legends.